Hey boys. It's been like a day or so or a couple days. I don't remember when I did my last recording. But it just comes to me. Yesterday, I talked to a woman. Very beautiful woman, just gorgeous. She's talking to me. She's smiling at me and I talked to her more and more. And we ended up going outside by her car, talking for Do the math. It was about six o'clock p.m. Because she went to my. She went to the ribbon cutting. Her name is Kendra Thompson. Very nice woman. Very nice. She's two years younger than me. We started talking and I saw her at the, at my ribbon cutting. And then I went to another ribbon cutting for this Texas music cafe and she was there and I chatted with her and we started talking more. And then we ended up walking out together talking and some people went to the bar and we stayed at the car just chatting and then they left the bar and they saw us still chatting. So 6 p.m. and we left just at 2 a.m. just talking, crying, talking. I ended up giving a beautiful hug. I hugged her, she hugged me. I didn't know what I was, I didn't know what I was feeling. But it's not the same. That was the first time I ever talked to any other woman more than two minutes. In 11 years, boys. And I kept thinking of your mom so much. But just hearing her smiling at me and, and listening to me and talking with me. I miss that. But it means nothing, boys. I don't think I can ever meet another woman. We got very close and all we did was a nice hug. But I know if we get more and more, if we go out and talk more and more, more things will happen. That's why in my mind, it means nothing, boys. I know, I know I messed up by with my anger. But I never wanted this divorce, boys. It freaking hurts being alone. I hurt so much. I miss you guys so much. I, I kept crying in front of her. I just want to talk to someone. I want to talk to you guys. I want to talk to my wife. I want to talk. It was so beautiful. I was listening to her and she was listening to me and but it wasn't your mother, and I, I didn't know how to feel, but I really en enjoyed the talk. She even cried. <laughs> All this stuff, she said that I'm a good man, and I opened up, I told her everything, boys, I have nothing to hide. And she said, you're a good man. How come Nancy's not doing this? How come she was like, it's an accident. And I showed her the, the lessons of the days that I've done. I told her what a good father I am, what a good husband. And 
She was telling me her situation with her. her she's not married or anything. And she tried dating and never, she just never had good luck. And she had one child and the father's just a jerk. And she's telling me all these wonderful things that I'm a good man. And, and I'm rare and, and Nancy doesn't know. And I... I want your mother to know. I want her to know. Why can't she see how I'm a good father? Why can't she see I'm a good husband? I, I made her. She, she cried. She almost kissed me, boys. And I walked. I looked away. But she really enjoyed the way I talk. And I want to do that to your mother. I've always been loving to your mother. I've always been romantic because I enjoy that. And I only saved it to, for her. It was funny because we looked at each other. She has beautiful eyes, boys. This girl and... And I did I I didn't I know what's the next step. You move a little bit and then they move close and boom you kiss. And I stood there like a statue. And but I kept looking at her. And she kept looking at me. And I looked down and I'm like and I start freaking crying. <laughs> That's a turn off to women, boys. Just FYI, if you cry in front of a stranger. Because she was like a stranger. I only saw her twice. I talked to her more at the second event. But boys, that's why I don't like this. Because the world is going to come at you. And that's why I never wanted this divorce. I never wanted this separation. I never wanted because nature is going to take its course. Your mother is going to find someone. It just is, boys. It's who we are as humans. We can't, we can't live alone. It's not good to live alone. Believe me, I know. I know. So she's going to find someone. That's why I feel so sad. Because sooner or later she's going to find someone. And you can say it over and over, boys. But how in the world that I had this conversation for more than six hours with a stranger? It's just the way the world works. And we will kiss the next time. I bet you. It's just nature. I bet you she she even sent me a message. To, uh, it was last night. So this boy, she sent a message saying, I just want to know if you got home safe. And I had a great time. And, and she does, she wants to do cigars and, and like whiskey pair with cigars. So we might do that next. I hate this boys. I don't want it. I don't want it. I want your mother, but I can't help it. Like, I just want to feel something. <laughs> it hurts me to love. It hurts me to love, boys. I hate it. It hurts every, every day. It hurts. I just want to talk to you guys. I just want to talk to your mother. I just want to hug you. This woman was just skinny just like your mother and I hugged her. And I put my mouth on her shoulder and... I just closed my eyes. And I just want your mother. I want your mother. I don't understand this boy. What do you do? What do you do? I keep, I keep feeling like crap. I feel it always hurts every fucking.
fucking day, boy. I just lost someone. I want your mother. Uh. Uh. So, uh, that's it. I was busy these past two days just m meeting people, but that was, that was, it was weird, boys. Like I said, it's, it's nature. You can't stop it. That's why, that's why you should always be buried. I did $173 today. I wanted 200 but I'm happy with 173 And the car was acting up, but it got better. I'm no mechanic, but for some reason, as I drive it more, it shows less of that sound, that problem of the car. I'm going to take a shower, boys. I didn't even take a shower last night because I got home like at 2.30. It was a beautiful talk, boys. It's a beautiful talk. <laughs> Your mother never expresses herself. And this woman's just talking and talking and talking. I enjoyed it. I was listening. I was listening. Then your mother can't open up. Your mother is too close. She doesn't know how to express herself. And I was okay with it for many years. And I can't even talk about it now because I'm the one with all the problems. Look, she probably, she wrote on the divorce papers that she went through uh, counseling. And I bet you she'll still have that same problem 10 years ago. She'll still be the same person. The same problem problematic person never took care of it but she did it on paper and that's fake change boys and don't even get me started she was talking about she wants to learn how to be a catholic she was learning about catholicism we were just kept on talking and talking and it felt like two minutes of us talking and and I'm saying these poetic things and, and I like talking this way and she's smiling at me and she's... I don't understand, boys. I don't understand. And then she even told me, she was like, I'm glad we didn't do anything because, because then I told her more about the story about what's happening with me and she said I'm kind of happy because uh, again boys I'm an attractive man I know how to speak and I have a lot to offer boys I don't know I don't understand why your mother never saw that I'm doing so much for you boys I did so much for you boys I never stop working and there's so many men that just leave and forget about their families and just stop working. I never did that, boys. I'm in the category of those loser fathers and it hurts me. It just hurts me. <laughs> I'm going to take a shower now. I'm at, I'm at Planet Fitness, but... Like I said, I, I already know everything as far as the, the meeting other women. I hate it. I hate that I'm in this situation. And again, your mother finds someone. It's just nature. You can't, can't go against nature, boys.
Remember the saying, the lesson of the day, if you go to the pool, you're going to get wet. If you separate a family, you're going to separate a family. And you're not going to be the family anymore. And that's why I hate it so much. I hate it, boys. I hate the situation. I hate divorce. I can't control none of it. Your mom is controlling everything. And I can't say nothing. I've been watching these YouTube videos, or these videos I've been putting on YouTube of our family slideshow, Reina family. I'm almost done with part three, and I gotta do part four in about two days. And I already sent mom the first year, and then part one. I don't know if she sees it, but I'm, I'm watching all these videos and pictures, and I'm a good father, boys. We had a good time. I was so happy. And I know the world was kicking me in the butt, but I still was happy with you guys. I'm going to go on because it's just the same thing over and over, boys. I, same thing, same misery. Like I keep talking about the same stuff. Your m grandmother's telling me, oh, meet another woman. Oh, it's better. It's better if you guys live separate and we take care of the boys. They're good with us. Like, what the hell, boys? Like, they're kicking me out. And this is a Catholic family. That's why I told you, boys. Be careful of women who put too much on a religion because they're hypocrites. Many of them are hypocrites. Almost all of them. And your mother and your family and her family are big ones. And it hurts me so much because I'm, I'm truly fighting for God. That's why I get knocked out so many times. And I keep saying yes to God. That's true, loving God. Not the stupid fake prayers. You don't feel nothing. Then when a test happens, you walk away. You get a divorce. What happened to the faith in God? What happened to that? You just kick the father out, the husband. You just kick her out. Oh, we'll take care of the boys. And it's wrong. Sons deserve their father. They deserve their mother. They deserve a husband and a wife as parents. So I don't know, boys. Like I said, this is nature. I can fight as, as much as I can of not seeing other women. But I don't know what happened last night. I don't know. It was beautiful, though. And I hate saying that. I hate it so much. I hate it just like that vehicle. See, that vehicle hates it, too. <laughs> I hate it, boys. I hate that I have to talk to another woman to kind of make me at least smile because I've been crying for months and months and months and it, it keeps coming, man. I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> Alright boys, I'm gonna go. I'll see you guys in a little bit. I love you. I'll never stop thinking of you. Better go, I'm getting tired.
I'll talk to you guys when I get to to my new home. Bye, boys. I'll see you guys soon.